Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how I made some vintage inspired snowmen using styrofoam balls and air dry clay. To make my snowman form I take a wooden pick and some glue to glue the two balls together. After the glue dries I remove a small portion of the bottom styrofoam ball so it will sit flat. I then roll out some air dry clay and cover the entire thing. I use water and my clay tools to blend the clay together where it meets. To make the face, I made a cone shape for the nose and attached it, smoothing it with water and the clay tools. For the cheeks, I used two balls of clay, again using water to smooth them out. You can make them as big or as small as you want. I use the clay tools to make the eyes and mouth. For the hat, I rolled out some clay and cut it into a round shape for the brim and then rolled out more clay into a log shape. To attach the two together, I used glue and my clay tools to blend them together. To attach the hat to the snowman's head, I glued a toothpick into the top and then added more glue and stuck the hat onto it. You can also make the hat separately and glue it on after it dries.
To make the arms, I made a tapered log shape and cut it into two so the arms would be the same size, and then attached them with a little bit of glue, and then used water and my clay tools to blend the clay where it meets. I then poked a hole through both hands because I was going to have him hold some things. I then set it aside to dry overnight. Next, I took a paper mache box and used Mod Podge to glue a piece of scrapbook paper to it. I then used black paint to paint the top of the box. When the paint was dry, I used some Tim Holtz rubber stamps to stamp a design around the outside. I then used another stamp and a piece of scrap cardstock to make a tag. I cut it down to size and inked the edges with the Vintage Photo Distress Ink. I then glued it to the front of the box and used antiquing wax over the top of the box. When the snowman was dry, I painted his body white, hat black, carrot nose orange. I used a very light pink color on his cheeks and some gold leaf paint for his hat band.
When the paint was dry, I gave it a coat of antiquing wax and then used hot glue to attach it to the box. To finish it, I glued a piece of tinsel around his neck for a scarf and added a small sign. I just ran the wire through the hole I made in the clay previously and glued a small holly pick to his other hand. For my next snowman, I'm taking just one styrofoam ball and covering it with clay. Again, using water to smooth the clay and making the face with the clay tools and making the hat the same way. I then set it aside to dry overnight. After the clay was dry, I again painted it the same as the other one and set it aside to dry. The metal rod sticking out is there just so I can hold on to the snowman while I'm painting it. Thank you. 
Next, I'm going to use a piece of rice paper and decoupage one of the images onto an old jelly jar. I used DIY brand liquid patina and decoupaged the picture face down so you could see it through the jar. I let that dry and then added a coat of white paint over the top of it so the picture would be more vibrant on the other side. I then used E6000 to glue a small deer and bottle brush tree inside the jar. It was a little tricky with my fat arthritis fingers, so I had to use my Cricut tweezers. After the glue was dry, I added a little bit of faux snow and glitter inside the jar and then used E6000 to glue the snowman head to the top of the jar. On the back of the jar, I used another Tim Holtz stamp to decorate the plain white paint and then outlined it with Stickles glitter glue. Next, I used some of the DIY liquid patina and covered the entire head and then sprinkled it with fine clear glitter. If you don't like glitter, just skip this step. To seal the glitter so it doesn't flake off as much, I used cheap hairspray. I gave it a light coat and I'm using the paper towel so the hairspray doesn't get on the glass jar. To finish it, I gave the back a coat of antiquing wax and then added some tinsel around his hat and neck and then glued some holly leaves to it. For my final snowman, I made the head in the same manner as the one previously. Again, the fork sticking out the bottom is so I can stand it up to dry.
I'm also painting this one the same as the others. When the paint was dry, I used a combination of E6000 and hot glue to glue the snowman head onto a wood finial. I then painted the finial white and glued an eye screw into the top of the hat and used antiquing wax over the entire thing. To finish it, I glued tinsel around the neck and added a little tinsel piece and a holly leaf to his hat. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed these snowman projects and I'll see you in the next video.